You don't seem right to me. I mean, your speech is a bit slurred. That's why I was on medication last night. After a failed marriage, rehab and bankruptcy, Kerry Gatona's life and career were going downhill fast. Now Kerry was famous for all the wrong reasons. There was a media frenzy linking the mother of four to drug and alcohol abuse. Kerry's efforts to explain, citing medication and depression, were falling on deaf ears. You don't turn my life around. It only wasn't medication. No, just slur it doesn't mean I'm troubled. Oh, no, it's purely medication that me, I can't speak. My speech is a bit slur. That's, that, that's it. No, I want to say that's like the headlines. No, I take medication, it makes your speech a bit slur. You know, you can't function with it. You're a bit zombified. That was all. Kerry seemed to be giving up. She was letting herself go and the press always seemed ready and waiting for every move she made. Just when it seemed things couldn't get any worse, they did. Events took a dramatic turn for the worse for Kerry on August 16, 2009. The footage was quickly passed around the world on YouTube. Between the internet, the tabloids and the paparazzi, Kerry's life had descended into a freak show. Kerry was caught taking cocaine on camera. The thing is, if you're going to have a public profile like that, you're going to have to let every aspect of your life come under scrutiny. And that means you can't, you know, you can't go around doing drugs. She don't lie, she don't lie. The girls were on the way home from school, and I said to her, you, 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 better, you better move it. Kerry would walk back into the bedroom and take a bit more, come back out. Still chatting to the girls as if, you know, she was all right, she was fine. I was slightly shocked now when I saw her snorting the coke because I know she denied it on many occasions to all the papers. The papers have printed so many stories about her saying that she did and she denied it, she denied it. I wasn't shocked, I wasn't surprised, I was disgusted. And then when I actually saw the, the footage, I, the first thing that came into my mind was total setup. And the first person that came in my mind was her husband, Mark. And you have to realise that everything you do could potentially end up on the screen. So, you know, she, she, she should have thought of that in the bathroom. That was it a regular occurrence? Did she do it ten times a day? A typical binge can go on for three days with Kerry. During a binge, she would probably take four bags plus, which is four gram. And that much affect her mind and the children. Again, it's down to the children. If we're only herself ruining her own life, tough. But it wouldn't be easy for the kids. This is a mother. She is allowed to bring children into this world. She has whatever she does in her own life. That's her decision. But the minute she brought children into it, she has responsibility. The problem with Kerry Katona is she doesn't seem to face consequences. And it really caused irreparable damage to her career. There could be no more deals with OK Magazine, no more deals with Iceland. Um, she wasn't Kate Moss. She wasn't the glamorous mum that could bounce back and get these massive fashion campaigns back. This was Kerry, and it was just, she was far too normal to be able to bounce back from something this huge. Kerry's life had gone into freefall the same month she was arrested for assaulting her accountant. She was the breadwinner in the family. She had her ads, she would have had newspaper and magazine columns which she would have been paid for. And I think to lose those, that, that has been kind of hanging over her the last few years and she seemed somehow to hold on to them. But I think being declared bankrupt when you already live your life in the papers, it has to really hurt. And you're talking about somebody who's not, not even 30 yet. Yeah, Kerry really hasn't mastered the internet. I mean, as a celebrity, you can really use the net to, to create a very uh, loud profile, a very clean profile, and, and to sort of broadcast yourself in a way that you can't on TV because you have so much structure and, and production bosses and everything, and the internet's yours to, to make what you want of it, and Kerry really didn't do that. I think the internet has had a really negative effect for Kerry. I mean, for example, on YouTube, you can see videos of her taking cocaine, and also her this morning interview, that was pretty embarrassing.
the internet can have a positive or a negative effect on your career, depending on whether you're doing good things or bad things. On her career, it had a bad effect because people were able to go back and look back on her past, on some of her videos, on some of her pictures, and really it did have a bad effect. Even if you didn't get to see some of the footage um, of Kerry Katona, you know, snorting coke, or even her appearance on This Morning, you can always go back on YouTube and get to see it all as well, which I did myself.